In this video, we'll look at how to terminate these telephone cables by fixing the RJ11 modular plugs onto each of the cables. The tools required for this include a crimping tool with the ability to crimp a 6-pin modular plug. We will also use a cable tester so that we can verify our terminations when we finish the terminations. And then we'll need a cutting plier to be able to cut our cables whenever we require. Let's start with the two pair flexible cable. When we terminate this cable, we'll use it to connect from the telephone socket into the telephone handset. With this other one, which is a CAT5 cable, we will be using it to connect from any telephone extension jack into the telephone distribution point or what we also call the crone. Let's start with the flexible cable termination. This cable is a standard four wire or what can also be called a two pair telephone cable. And it has the standard color coding for each wire which comes in black, red, green, and yellow colors. That is the standard telephone color coding. And as I'm holding it, this is the exact order of arrangement for the colors within the, the cable. Let's go ahead and trim it using the cutting plier. So we will fit the RJ11 onto it this way. Here is my crimping tool. I will put it into it and crimp it down. So here is my terminated cable. Let's do same for this other end. The color arrangement is still the same black red green and yellow so let's trim it and fit the rj11 onto it and then we'll crimp it so our cable is done now we can cross check it to be sure our terminations are perfect using the cable tester. We will be testing it from the RJ11 port. So we'll just connect it here. And also connect the other end also at this point. We'll then press to assess the cable. You can see that it is well terminated with all the four conductors showing connected. This is where it will be plugged if we had wired the socket and then connect into the telephone handset. Let's now do for the CAT5 cable. This is a four pair cable, but we need just two pairs. So we will be using the blue and orange pairs so we can cut out the rest two pairs so here we are with the two pairs that we'll be using so we can just unwound them place the blue and stripe blue this way Unwound the orange pair as well. Place the solid orange by the striped blue. And then striped orange comes by the solid blue. So this is the final arrangement. We'll trim it. Hold it in place firmly and then fit the RJ11 onto it in this way. Fit it into the crimping tool and crimp it very well. 
So here is our terminated cable. On the PBS switch, we have the choice to fix it into any of the extension jacks from extension jack 1 up to jack 16. But we'll use extension jack 1. This other end will be terminated onto the crone or the distribution point. And as usual, we need just the two pairs of cables that we were using all along. So we will cut off the unusable pairs. So we are left with the blue and then the orange pairs. Here is the crone or the distribution point. In later videos, we will delve much into how the crone is wired with cables coming from the PBS switch. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.